This is LXBN TV, and I'm Colin O'Keefe. I'm here with Richard Barton, keynote at Advocating as we kick off our official Advocating Conference at the Bell Harbor Conference Center in Seattle. Richard Barton gave the opening keynote. He is the co founder and executive chairman at Zillow, and also founder of uh, XPD as well. Richard, starting off, you gave two laws during your keynote. If it can be known, it will be known, and if it can be rated, it will be rated. Can you explain what those mean? Uh, sure, Colin. Uh, so, the connected PC and the connected smartphone, connected to the internet, has given immense power to the people. It's kind of a power to the people. Uh, and this started back at the first of the bone of the Macintosh that allowed us to, to plug into the internet and take control and take power. And I see this manifesting itself uh, in two consumer laws. Laws of the new super empowered consumers. One, if it can be known, it will be known. There is no hiding. There is radical transparency. If you want to know what that house is worth, go to Zillow and you can find out what that house is worth. If you want to know what somebody is making at a competing firm because you're thinking about a job there, go to glassdoor.com and you can find out what these people are being paid. Radical transparency. That's law number one. Law number two is if it can be rated, it will be rated. And you guys out there are all familiar with TripAdvisor, Amazon, Netflix, and Glassdoor again, and with Avo itself. Every every business, a person or an entity can now be rated, and these super empowered consumers are rating them. And you touched on this again in your keynote. What has this empowerment really done to people? It's, it's, it's really created a drastic change. You touched on a, a specific tweet in your keynote. But what has this empowerment really done to people? Okay, so what these these super empowered uh, consumers are doing, and, and 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 now that they're mobile, they're like even they're just completely wired and powerful all the time, everywhere they go. Uh, uh, I, I kind of pithily said it's it's they're, they're now mobile, they're cocky, uh, they're cranky, and they're impatient. Okay, consumers want things now. If they don't get things now, they tell the world about it. They, 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 they broadcast their disappointment for everyone to know, and that can that can harm businesses. So they're they're cranky, and so businesses have to respond to that by monitoring the Twitter sphere, the social social the social networks for what things people are saying about their businesses, and be able to be prepared, prepared to respond. Can I give a quick example of that? All right. So I was staying at the Four Seasons Hotel recently on a Sunday. And I went down, I just wanted a Sunday New York Times, I wanted to do the crossword puzzle. And uh, lo and behold, on Sunday, for whatever reason, at the Four Seasons, they weren't providing the New York Times. The Sunday New York Times, I guess, is expensive, it's like $5.50 or something, maybe more of these things. But I want to do the crossword puzzle. And I was mad, I'm like, I'm staying at the Four Seasons, this is an expensive place, they should have it. So in the elevator, on my way back up, I was already tweeting, wow, times must be tough, no, no New York Times on Sunday at the Four Seasons. I swear, 15 minutes later, the bellman showed up at my door with the New York Times. So clearly, Four Seasons was monitoring the Twitter sphere and responded to that. This is unbelievable. You consumers, you have power. Yeah, I think it's something we've all been there. You get your New York Times. Unfortunately, when I tweeted the Mariners about them blowing with moments, it's not quite successful, not quite the return. Um, and lastly, how can companies and law firms specifically really react to this new environment where everyone is empowered and everyone's a little cocky and a little cranky as well? Um, so, you know, I think that uh, uh, the, the greatest thing that you all can do out there uh, is use these tools. Immerse yourself in a new digital media. Make, you're, and you're, right, you're already using smartphones. You know, make sure you're using Twitter and understand it. You don't have to tweet. You have to use it and understand it. And I would say. Be courageous, right? Be like the lion in the Wizard of Oz. Be courageous as you approach these new media. Don't be fearful. Don't hold your tail and sniff it and shiver. Okay? Be courageous. Address these new tools as opportunities, not problems. Get in the mix. Start using them. The, the lawyers here at Advocating are on the cusp of the cutting edge of the use of digital technology in the legal profession. These people are courageous. You are courageous too. Get in there and mix it up and answer questions and drive your business. Yeah, I think that's something that we're we'll up to watch coming up. Lawyers in particular are always hesitant, a little fearful of putting themselves out there. I think it's something we're starting to see more and more of. We're going to see more of in the future. Once again, Richard Barton, keynote here at Advocating 2012, executive chairman and co-founder of Zillow. Thanks, Richard. Thanks, Paul.